Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our channel. First, let's give the answer to the question we left yesterday, in the FIFA World Cup from 1994 to 2018, which team has won all the group stage games for the most times? The teams who won all the group stage games include France, once, Germany, once, Portugal, once, Colombia, once, Uruguay, once, Croatia, once, Brazil, twice, Spain, twice, Netherlands, twice, Belgium, twice, Argentina, three times. So the answer is Argentina. Now let's start today's question, if we already know that, the first team wins all their group games, and scores 9 points, how many possibilities are there for the distribution of points for the other three teams? Please note that, we are asking about the distribution of the points, in other words, a sort of combination. For instance, the fourth team may score 0 points, and the third may score 1 point. But the fourth team's 0 points, and the third team's 1 point cannot appear in the same group as the game between them would yield at least two points. Moreover, we only care about the distribution, and do not consider the difference in the ranking of specific teams. Are you ready? Let's go! Since the first team wins all their games, we can skip them entirely, and only consider the only three games among the other three teams. Different point distributions can give the same total points, but different total points must lead to different point distributions. Therefore we can group the possibilities into four classes according to the total points yielded in these three games. Depending on the number of games that end in a draw, the total points can be 6, 7, 8, or 9. If there are in total 6 points, it means that, all the three games ending in a draw, so each team scores 2 points. If there are in total 7 points, it means that, there is one, and only one game that doesn't end in a draw. The winning team in this game will in total have one win and one draw, and scores four points. The losing team has one loss and one draw, and scores one point. The other team has two draws, and scores two points. If there are in total eight points, it means that, there are two games that don't end in a draw, and this is the most complex situation today, where we need to consider three cases. If two games are won by the same team, they will score six points. And the game between the other two teams must end in a draw, so they score one point each. If the same team loses in those two games, they will score zero points. And the other two teams have a win and a draw each, and score four points. If two different teams win in the two games, and two different teams lose in the two games as well. Please note that, the two winning teams cannot be the two losing teams. So one of the winning teams must have participated in that draw game and finally scores 4 points. Their opponent in this draw game then must lose in their other game, and scores 1 point. And the other team thus has 1 win and 1 lose, and scores 3 points. The in total 9 point situation means that, none of the 3 games ends in a draw. And this is a simpler case. If the 3 games are won by 3 different teams, then they each score 3 points. If one team has 2 wins, they score 6 points. The other two teams have 3 and 0 points respectively. So in the real game, have all these kinds of point distributions taken place? From 1994 to 2018, except for these two cases, all the other five cases have indeed taken place at least once. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.